Hey guys and welcome to another episode of Pro Hire Truck TV and today we're looking at something which is really important when it comes to the EV space and a lot of conversations I have almost hourly now is the the struggle for infrastructure and the struggle for charging facilities and today I'm joined by Ian Hughes who is the area uh, UK and Ireland sales manager for Juice Technologies and this is for me probably one of the most exciting bits of technology that is going to bridge that gap for the next few years because we're going to be a long way from catching up to where reality comes. Welcome Ian, thank you for sparing the time to talk us through your product. Now I could bore everyone to death by talking about this myself and I'm going to get things wrong so I'm going to ask Ian a load of questions that I think are relevant and of course as always all of our information is available on our Pro World uh, and Pro I Truck TV pages. So all this information will be available for download and of course every, as everything you see will be supplied through Pro Green and through, and through Pro Hire. So let's have a look at what we've got. So basically Juice Technologies, what is Juice Technologies? So Juice Technology are a manufacturer of uh, AC and DC uh, EV charging products and what I've got for you today is our portable 22 kilowatt electric vehicle charger. Wow, and it, this is portable, plugging in the wall 22 kilowatt charging so almost at a point with plug and play i guess that's kind of where we're at really Absolutely. isn't it it's plug and play so i guess for me what i'd like to see is what's in that bag no problem at all Pat. great fantastic so yeah it, um, it's all about ruggedized uh, it's small compact yeah. and uh, portable as we said so we've got multiple connectors which we'll talk about in a, mo in a moment um, but the juice booster in itself is Wow. your electric vehicle charging point okay it's on a five meter length cable and um, it's got all the hard safety hardware built in so you imagine a wall box on a cable yeah so it's got the rcds built in for ac and dc it's got fault detection heat monitoring and it is as you said plug and play you plug it into one of these power connectors it will detect give you the best kilowatt available then of course the vehicle will dictate how much of that charge it can take so of course at the moment when someone's looking for um, charges so at home and, and, and at business you know you're having surveys done you're talking and we're, we're seeing lead times now from anything from a month to three months to get something done so if I wanted one of these how long would it take so depending on the power sources available I mean the kit itself is 24-hour delivery in the okay. UK so we have stock of these readily available and um, yeah we do from a base set right up to a full EV set and we can share the details with your uh, watchers on we that. Are absolutely, listen, we'll be that. So now for those who are out there waiting for two or three months to have your, your install done, we can help you tomorrow. So I think, again, that's the, perhaps how crucial this actually, actually is. So we start off with the charger. So this is replacing the wall box. And we start off, and I notice here we've got a, something familiar to most people, a three pin plug. Absolutely. So where does this start then? So the three pin plug, so this is giving you the full 13 amps from a domestic 13 amp plug uh, and that's because of the heat detection built into the pins so it won't allow the plug to get too hot and melt the circuit in the house um, and it's also got fault monitoring current fault monitoring on the cable to ensure that if there's any problems it so, will so when when on. If, if there's a it will be able to show a on here absolutely so when you've plugged it in it will show you and we'll try it and we'll plug that in shortly yeah uh, it will show you which amps it's uh, it's set on okay and then it will uh, just automatically deliver a three kilowatt charge when you've plugged into a 13 amp amazing uh, amazing socket. so I'm, i've i've got a question and yeah. it's going to sound really silly but i'll ask the question anyway so in the boot of my car yeah i've got a box and a plug on it and it says what will that charge at yeah so i mean the Cables that generally come in most cars are classed as emergency leads, okay. so used for short term, get you out of uh, trouble cables, they're not intended to be left on charge 24-7, Correct. whereas with the Juice Booster 13 amp, you will only get a 3 kilowatt charge still, mm -hmm. but it's totally safe, it won't get hot, and if there's a problem it will turn itself off or down rate until so it's So it's taking the power available from the building on the 3 pin, converting yep. that to 3 kilowatt safely through through the, the wall charger for say, yep. and then producing that from, so you can use that on a regular basis if you, if you need if you to. If you wish, yeah. yeah. It would take, so uh, the standard stuff in a car is, um, so it takes, if it takes 16 amp, it's gonna produce three kilowatts-ish through, a, yep. through, a, through, a, through a, a standard plug-in thing, which is, which is basically a, 
an ad hoc charging facility, yes. but we're converting that into a, a more permanent thing if we needed to. Yes. Well, I think it's, that's a, a fair, oh, good. It's, I mean, in fairness, I, I, I didn't realise that you could only do seven three kilowatt through through the, through, the, through the cable lead. So I'm learning yeah. again something today. So thank you for that, Ian. <laughs> you know, really, really good. So. I guess the next thing, and I'm going to go on to the, the things that I'm most excited about a bit, which, which we'll, we'll lead into, so stay watching and please, if you can, subscribe because we've got more to come. Now, I guess the next bit for me is from 7 kilowatt, what's the next um, AC offering then? So we're going from plug standard, so at the, when you, and at home you'll have a 7 kilowatt box, which is on a type 2 type of function. So what does that do? where do we go to from the plug then? Yeah, so the Type 2 end... Which, which is, is going to the car. The car yeah. side, yeah, is tethered to the booster. Yeah. And then the booster comes round to our um, connector. And then the next lead up would be the 16 or 32 amp single phase commando socket, as, as we know them, a CE32 industrial okay. socket. So all you do is line the dots up. You hear the click. That is now IP67 waterproof rated along with okay. the, the booster. So this can, go, this can be quite comfortable in the rain and the snow like we have in the Absolutely. UK for most of the year. It's sunny today in Stoke. We have sunshine, so we need to record that on the date. Um, Absolutely. Uh, and indeed, you know, if the booster being IP67 rated is resting in a puddle, it's absolutely safe it's and it's tough. also drive over proof up to three tons so uh, from don't try that guys we have plenty of people <laughs> it's not listen it's not a challenge <laughs> it's not a challenge 44 ton trucks going over these will not be good <laughs> but on the 16 and the 32 amp single phase sockets you'll get on the 16 amp five and a half kilowatts yeah. which we all know as a camping socket uh, and also on the 32 you will get 7.4 kilowatts like any other wall, wall box in the uk all uk houses have got single phase only unless they're fortunate enough to have three phase, which is rare. Okay, so that takes us to your standard home charging. So for those who are commercial vehicles as well, any standard home charge, as long as they've got a, a box like this, I guess. Is that right? That's right. So, so these are readily available from oh. any electrical wholesalers, um, online shops. And uh, this is your commando socket that a standard electrician can fit onto uh, the outside of a home or in the workplace. Yeah, look, it fits. Yeah. yeah. So you connect the connector, you plug, switch that on first, let the booster... And it's an instant detect, charger. And that will detect 32 amps on this setup, and it will deliver 7.4 kilowatts. Uh, and the other thing to mention on this as well, as it's working off standard sockets, you've got a guaranteed charge any time of day or night because uh, it's just working off your power circuitry. Okay, fantastic. And of course, it would probably need to on private um, properties have to have some kind of up, upload up increase in their power would we or well is that... what the electrician will do is check their availability in the consumer board and if, if all is well most will have capacity enough to do this it'll just fit a socket so fantastic it cost yeah. really really yeah. low and these apparently are led, i'm led to believe are about 32 pounds from ebay or Amazon or other establishments where these things are for sale. Um, but again, very substantially different in cost when it comes to um, the cost of charging points as well. And of course, we've seen grants being removed and availability stretching out. So again, something like this available 24 hours, plug and play, and, you, and you're moving very quickly. And of course, especially when you spent the kind of money you're going to do on a, on a car or, or, a, or a commercial vehicle, getting action and getting moving straight away is, is super important and super important. Of course, if you have a charger going down and you have a number of vehicles, something like this, a few of them in your fleet or availability within 24 hours, your control of getting back to using fuel or using your new electricity, getting into your vehicles, keeping moving is super important when it comes to that conversation. So we've done AC. So I guess the next thing is, and we're getting to the bit I'm going to like the most, well, we're uh, the the going to the, the heavier stuff. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. so the, where the do we higher, go from here? The higher end of AC, which the booster can deliver automatically as it's plugged into the right connections, are the 16 and 32 amp. And these are 410 volt three phase. So therefore you can get 11 kilowatts on the 16 amp three phase commando and you can get 22 kilowatts on the 32 amp three phase commando socket. And we're finding with fleets that some of these sockets are already already available. Uh, but so, again, so, back so, to the point on the uh, the sockets, they're, they're relatively cheap compared so to- So this is a standard three phase socket now? That is just a standard yeah. three phase socket, so, yeah. In all of our workshops, and we were going to go down to a workshop today, but you know it's my fault. I, I'm, I'm, I've run out of time a little bit for, for to do justice. But in our workshops, we have 
this type of socket which we are plugging um, fridges, uh, welders, all of those kind of things that you would have in a, in a standard workshop and in, in, in most standard commercial warehouse properties etc etc so again the need to have um, DC facility charging in there has been removed and that's very expensive so we're, we're at a point where this can plug into into the wall and I suppose to a certain degree the same conversation applies I suppose um, Ian where that just plugs into the end of the the uh, the socket there and you end up with a a fully functioning if this is on 32 amp this is delivering how much again 22 kilowatts so, exactly that's impressive guys you know let's be honest I mean you know some of the other stuff there's always going to be a well if we did this or if we did that we could do that this is brilliant this is amazing 22 kilowatt from a plug in the wall with a standard um, you know three phase supply 32 amp through this little box to be able to charge heavier electric vehicles as well so 22 kilowatt you know is going to you know if you look at um, a lot of the commercial vehicles etc will accept 11 22 and up to 50 into dc of course you're going to 50 you're into a diff very different conversation 22 kilowatt is going to be able to cover 90 percent of conversational charging and of course it's coming at a, a very mild and controlled amount whacking 50 100 kilowatts into electric vehicles every day is going to damage the batteries over time this is going to give you some real comfort that you're not doing that i haven't seen anything like this before um, and i was really pumped and super excited that ian could join us today from from something which i think is going to be a game changer for us certainly in pro green you know this is going to be a conversation we're having with 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 a lot of our customers so i think in, in this short interlude, I think the easiest thing for me to do is actually to show you how it works. And we're going to, because I've, I've like a, a numpty, I've drove my car in the wrong way round, um, it's actually quite fortunate. We've, um, we've got an extension as well. So I'm going to say it's planned, but it clearly wasn't. So we're going to use a, a, um, a 230, 240 supply just to show you how simple it is to work. So I guess I like to be at a point, if I can work it, then I guess most people can. That's where I'm at. So join up the dots plug and play so that goes into there um, and I guess we've not got enough room so what I'm going to do before I plug it into the wall I'm going to join the cables together and and, and, and at that point we should have yep, plug and play so enough space to get round to the other side of my car um, and then we can plug it in and generate some electrical charge so I'll just uh, normal type 2 so this will go into any car go there we go that's plugged in which is brilliant um, and what we'll do then is just plug this into the wall which uh, we have here turn it on and let's have a look at the box see what, what it's doing and it's doing something so what's it doing here yep so what it's showing you is the continuous lights are showing you that it's, con it's charging yep. and it's set on 13 amps which is delivering you three kilowatts three kilowatts yeah so that's three kilowatts from a 16 amp supply here or 13 amp supply 13 here amps, so yeah. 13 amp supply here and if that was a so that would need to go to how many amps to give me seven so if that was a single phase 32 amps you get your 7.4 kilowatts yep. and then in, in a work setting the three phase 32 amps will give you 22. so again out of the boot what we needed to do of course whether that's a light van or or a car then this is this is um, a perfect opportunity and going back to the um three phase supply you, you can go up to 22 kilowatts yep. and as simply as doing that you know and i have to say it's pretty simple because uh, i've never seen this before you know and i'm working it within within seconds so um i guess that's all we've got time for today i want to thank ian for spending some thank time you. with me to show me his new technology which i'm super excited about i have to say so really thank you for that thanks for that all the details of everything we're talking about here uh, is available from, from our website and everything that we're doing. Please contact us if you need some support and help on this product because I think it will give people the space and time to try electric vehicles, to try and move into that space without having to invest, in some cases, a £9,000 for a charger because a lot of people think a charger is, you know, three thirteen hundred fifteen hundred two thousand pounds the biggest cost for charging in, in that i've seen in the last two years has been the civils which can be sometimes three and four times the price of the charger and when you're doing four or five vehicles it becomes a very substantial investment indeed and i think we've got the solution for that in spades so again thanks guys for watching thanks for bearing with me please subscribe if you can and and we'll see you again very soon take care guys bye bye